you mentioned it before, Mark, before we introduced the uh, the episode four uh, section there uh, about suits coming in. Um, that was the genesis of what became a reality for a lot of different radio stations. Well, pretty much every radio station from 2000 on. The digital age was upon us. And so it was a common, a perfect storm of, of the digital age making radio a different, uh, a di- being, things being run differently than it was in the past when it was pre-digital. And then the combination of that and people coming in and, and spending millions of dollars on these radio stations and, and owning multiple, um, you know, hundreds, in some cases, thousands of radio stations. The writing was on the wall that uh, radio as we knew it wasn't going to be for much longer. Yeah, they never figured out, and I'll be the first one to say I have no idea what the answer would have been, but they had no idea, and no offense to any of the real smart people still making radio, many of which I know, um, never really kind of figured out what to do with the internet and the digital revolution. You know, I can remember some staff meetings where the suits were going, oh, we just ignore it, and... We're always, music is going to be here and blah, blah, blah. They'll, they'll do the news reports or whatever. And then, I'm, you know, a month later, I'd be in the same meeting. And they're going, well, the Internet's here to stay, so we got to incorporate it. So we want you to get over on Twitter and Ditter and Bitter and Butter. So, <laughs> I mean, they, they really, I don't think, ever figured out what to do, uh, how to coexist. And... Um, The only thing I'm sure of is that when you have people walking around, um, and I grab my phone, but I'm using it for this very experience, but they have their phone in their pocket with hundreds of their favorite songs and probably a list of their top whatever. They don't need everybody else on radio doing that. I mean, it just seems, I understand why you want to play popular music. And I get the whole thing. I did it for many, many years. But it always seemed weird to me that they couldn't figure out that if somebody else is doing exactly what you do and they have it in their pocket, plus you've stripped away all the entertainment you know, the disc jockeys, the the banter, the this, that, and the other, the the fun and creative stuff. If you shove that down into, hey, did you see on Facebook today this lady beat this other lady with a frozen turkey? You know, it's it's not entertaining. It's not radio. Why would they come to you if they got that in their pocket? You know, so we have to account for that as, as an industry. Um, you know, I'm not saying there's not room for a, a top 20 radio stations. They just don't need all to be top 20 radio stations. 